The city has been feeling more overwhelming than usual, so I decided to take a drive out to Lantau Island. It's such a simple practice to sit by nature and just be alone with your thoughts, and I really needed it. Being quieter has made me realize what I wanted deep down. I think I have been making excuses for myself, but now I realize, hmm. I think I'm ready for another baby. Oh, and also try to find a quieter lifestyle. So in today's episode, we're going apartment hunting and talk about why I want another baby. to see me make a coffee today. So let's see what pods I got left. Coffee, Debbie. Just leave it, okay? Don't touch because it can fall and break. Look with your eyes. <laughs> this is one of my favorite lotions from Hong Kong. It's hairs. It's really nice for the hands. It always makes it so moisturized. Good morning, guys. How are Ma you? I am this big no. That is go die. If you see a bruise on Dove's face, yesterday she fell on the kitchen, um, bathroom sink and then she bounced back and then fell to the floor. Can you tell them about it? Boom. Mm-hmm. Sorry, guys. I also recently just like got Botox, so <laughs> I feel like I can't move my forehead. It's always like the strongest the week after. Do you want a brother or a sister? A Sister! Sister! Teacher? Yeah. Teacher? Teacher, dear. I want to go to school. School? <laughs> okay, okay. All right, I'll, I'll bring you to school. Do you really want to go to school? Do you want to learn and sing and dance and see friends? Okay. Do you want a brother or sister? Mommy, me. <clears throat> Friends. Lately, we've been talking about just, you know, family planning. Talking about whether or not we want to have our second kid or try to have a second kid. And I've been asking her the question, do you want a brother or sister? I don't even think she knows the difference. And when I show her JJ's brothers and sisters, she just keeps saying teacher. She wants to go to school. So I'm going to start with sending her off to school first. And yeah, I've just been getting really crazy baby fever lately. Mommy, drink. Okay, I'll drink. <coughs> Bless you. Can mommy have a baby? Yeah. Really? Do you want to be a big sister? Yeah. Oh! Do you want to take care of a baby? You do? Oh, well, maybe she is a little bit ready. Honestly, it's really hard to tell with a two and a half year old. Go where? You want to go over there? Okay, you can go over there. Mommy need to finish eating first. Wee! <laughs> okay, let's bring y'all a little closer because I think it's time for a heart-to-heart -heart moment. Or not a heart-to-heart -heart moment. Um, let's bring y'all closer because I kind of want to have like a catch-up session with you guys. By the way, like so random, but my skin has been slaying. I've been using the Medicube HR Booster H device every morning and night. And I can tell a significant difference in like just how glowy my skin looks. Like right now I'm only wearing concealer, brows, blush, and a little bit of lip. Okay, that doesn't sound like only, but basically no skin products except for concealer and my skin has just been slaying. Okay, and then anyway, I'm um, kind of going back to like, it's really hard to have like a conversation when you have a toddler. We don't have been talking about wanting to have another kid because I want her age gap to be like less, like about four years or less. And if we try now, let's say I get pregnant right now, who knows? 
she will be a little bit over three years old so the age gap is like as close as i want it to be but these things just don't happen when you want them to happen and then the second question is where are we gonna be like do we stay in hong kong for this or we go to america personally i'm gonna go back to the oc um, because my house there is bigger if we're gonna have a family of four but it's not gonna be possible without help and my parents don't live there you know and a lot of my family members are actually in hong kong so while we're in Hong Kong, we do get a lot of help just from my family alone. I don't know, like we just need a higher help if we go back to America. And I would love to bring our current nanny, Auntie Rose, with us because we already know our groove and I trust her with my kid. Honestly, it's just like so many things up in the air because like this apartment, as big as it is for Hong Kong standards it's honestly like way too small I think to have another person here like our third room right now is basically a storage room where we hang up all of our clothes and it's kind of like a closet because it's just so incredibly small but ideally like there are two plans and I'm just like spitting ideas nothing is solid ideally like how I would prefer is I'm pregnant in Hong Kong have the baby in Hong Kong so they have dual citizenship and then we go back to the states maybe I have like while I'm pregnant like I go back to the states and like make the house like ready move everything in and then after the baby is born in Hong Kong we stay here a couple months and then we move back to America with Auntie Rose that is the most ideal plan but we never know these things we have to make sure Auntie Rose can even get a visa to America it's pretty hard to get visas to the states yeah. And then the second option is we stay here. Um, this is what my husband Leo wants to do. It's like stay here until the second kid is born and then we just like don't move. Kobe what is Kobe eating? <gasps> hey! Uh-uh, what are you eating? What is this? Flowers? You can't eat that. No, no, no. Pause, pause, pause on this conversation. I need to vacuum that stuff up. On your barn, Dovey? Yeah. I'll get your barn. Can you build a castle for the animals to go inside? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me just finish up the conversation. Actually, that's pretty much it, I think. But yeah, we're trying to get pregnant. So we want to have another baby. <laughs> I feel like every kid could benefit. I'm not saying every family should have a second kid. I'm just saying every kid could benefit. It wouldn't detract from them from having a sibling. I grew up with two other younger siblings and that was really fun. It made playing games a lot more fun. Obviously, if you have just one kid, that's completely fine too because there's plenty of other kids for them to play with. So yeah, that's that's what the update. We are trying to have another baby. Oh my God, I'm like, why am I telling the whole internet this? <laughs> hold the head okay because the head is not very strong for the baby and be very gentle with the head yeah good job dovey just like that oh my gosh you're doing such a good job dove <laughs> Push the baby to the doctor first. We're in Dove's room right now and she wants to take the baby for a doctor's visit.
Good morning, guys. Another good morning, guys. <laughs> We're having lunch right now before we head out to go to Saikong. We're getting ready to go to Saikong because we're going to look at some apartments. We're gonna go apartment hunting and see, like we're trying to expand the size because it's pretty small. Well, small is relative, you know, but I think for us, uh, having grown up in the States, it's kind of small here. And we definitely want a little bit more space if we're thinking about expanding. <laughs> right now we're living in the Kowloon side in Kuntong. Prices here are relatively lower for the city. This is considered the city. We're in the urban areas. Today we're going to be going out to Saikong, which is considered new territories, right? Mm -hmm. Prices, like the suburbs. Yeah, like the suburbs. And mm -hmm. then they have like houses there, um, like condos basically. So it's a little bit different than like high rises here in the urban area. So we're going to take you guys along and tour it and see, you know, it could be a potential contender. What are you doing? Are you painting with your vegetable? Let's see. Let's get a closer look. Are you painting, Debbie? You're painting on the plate with your vegetable? Good morning, guys. <laughs> Mommy, see? Oh, it please? Uh huh. This is probably my third time visiting this little area in Saikung. I'm not an expert in this area at all, but I can tell immediately off the pace of living is a lot slower, which is something that I'm looking for in the new spot that we might eventually move to. They even have a coffee academics right behind me. So like, I love coffee shops. I love slow living and these little shops here are so cute. Look at how cute this little place is. <laughs> Look, this man is getting a picture too. Hi! Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I wanted to show you guys that these are green taxis. Usually when we take them in the city, they're red, but they're green because these are taxis for new, the new territories. If it's blue taxi, it's like the island kind of uh, island areas of Lantau. So it's color coded for a reason. There's a green. And then there's a the red. Perfect. <laughs> it's really it's really well balanced. Yeah. It's really well balanced. Sometimes you get one that's like too sweet, and you get one that's like not sweet enough. Like you can eat another one of these, I think. It's crunchy on the top. This is the kind I like. Okay, mm. yeah. This is the entrance. Other people live here, I guess. Yeah, and then this is a door. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Oh, it's very cool in here. Oh, it's big. Yeah, it's huge. So, Lao Lao have two stories. Yeah, One and two. And then 
Here's room one. These rooms are like decently sized too. Closet installed. Yeah. Here's room two. This one is a bit smaller, but it's still bigger than the ones we have right now. Oh my gosh, it's so big. <laughs> and this is room three. Oh, this is the master. This is huge. Oh wow, look at all the storage space. I know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They have like three tracks for curtains. So different, like dark blackout. Oh, okay, this is like really spacious too. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah, this is actually like pretty nice. Oh, it's here. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. They have appliances already too. And then the main living. Master. Mm -hmm. And this is, this one is a little bit bigger here. You can definitely have two kids in here. <laughs> nice up here but they have like wood tiles <laughs> This is cute, oh yeah? It's nice. Yeah. This is a master bath. Yeah. Okay, I think that This is nice.
and the waitress put it in front of Leo, <laughs> thinking that it was for him, <laughs> but it's for me. I got the salad. Oh yeah, you got the salad. <laughs> I got the salad. Whatever, dude. We eat what we want to eat. Refreshing salad. Is it good? I think so, in its own way. But I wouldn't call it coleslaw. Look at the Leo's bowl of salad. <laughs> the it's, it's a side of coleslaw. <laughs> you guys, the last time I spoke to you guys, I was going to Sai Kung. And you guys, at this point, you've probably seen some of the housing and I just want to review like my thought process after doing all of that. And where, cause like honestly, I don't have a decision. Leo and I have been talking and we don't know what the decision is, but we do know what we love about Sai Kung and what the cons are about Sai Kung too. So let's go about, let's talk about what I love about Sai Kung. I love that there's so much space. The homes are so like reminiscent of what a western kind of lifestyle would be it's a lot more slower pace people walk slower i like that the city the center of the city is really cozy and tight-knit you get that kind of vibe and um you also get really easy access to the water which is really fun the biggest con for us is having to buy a car you know because we don't even know how long we're going to stay here for so that just seems like like a really big commitment to get a car here um and then the other con is like i guess the part of the greatest part of hong kong is the convenience of the transportation like we can take the mtr it's just five minutes walking distance from this apartment and we can literally get anywhere in hong kong um but we do actually take like taxi and uber a lot so i don't know like if that really affects us in the long term it's just like knowing that it's accessible to us here living in um the urban city it makes it hard to just give it up and like swap it up for a car so yeah i don't know just a lot to think about but oh my gosh like home is beautiful like the homes are so spacious and since we are thinking of expanding our family um i mean i don't know like when i get pregnant whenever that happens we don't know when that's gonna happen but when that happens like it would be nice to have more space because the space here is quite limited in this urban like apartment. It's considered big already in Hong Kong too. It's like 750 square feet, three bed, two bath, but still. Kind of just bringing you guys along. We don't have any decisions made, but I just thought like take you guys along and see where we end up in a year. We have no idea because for all we know, we could be back in Orange County too. 